Okay, now this video is gonna be very important for all the Samsung Galaxy phone users because Samsung has issued a warning about a critical zero day vulnerability that attackers were actively exploiting in the white. A zero day vulnerability is an unknown unpatched security flaw in software or hardware that has been discovered by attackers before developers have had a chance to create a fix. So the attackers are already aware of this specific flaw and they are actively exploiting exploiting it. Now for this, Samsung's upcoming September security patch is going to be very critical. The update fixes 25 Samsung vulnerabilities and exposures, including critical flaws in image parsing, which could be weaponized to get an access foothold on a user's device. Now a similar vulnerability was detected by WhatsApp as well which affected the iPhones and that was flagged last month as per Forbes. And Samsung says it was notified that an exploit for this issue has existed in the wild, which means the attackers were actively using this flaw. Apparently, this particular flaw is targeting the WhatsApp users on the Galaxy phones, and maybe on the other messaging applications as well. Samsung has not confirmed it yet. As you can see on the Samsung mobile security page, Samsung has mentioned the September patch in detail, where they have mentioned Google patches for the critical high and moderate vulnerabilities. And then they have mentioned Samsung vulnerabilities and exposures, which is SVEs. As you can see, first one is a moderate severity, where they have mentioned that the imposer access control in One UI Home prior to SMR September 2025 release one allows physical attackers to bypass kiosk mode under limited conditions. The patch adds proper access control. The second one is a moderate one, which allows local attackers to access sensitive information. Next one allows local attackers to be excluded from background execution management. And next one is a high severity one, where the release one allows local attackers to potentially execute arbitrary code. The patch adds proper input validation. And then we have got a couple of more moderate risks. And then you can see SVE 2025-1702, where Samsung has mentioned that this release one allows remote attackers to execute arbitrary code. The patch fixed the incorrect implementation. And there's an updated specific point mentioned here. Samsung was notified that an exploit for this issue has existed in the wild. So there are many vulnerabilities which Samsung keeps fixing every month. Uh, we get the Google patches as well as Samsung patches with the monthly security patches. But this time around, this September security patch is going to be very, very critical because the attackers are already using a flaw on the Samsung Galaxy phones, which will be fixed with the September security patch. Now let me put some sense into some of the Galaxy phone users who say that you should never update your device because Samsung is going to slow down your device through the security patches, the battery life will be affected, etc., etc. Let me tell you, if you do not update your phone every month on time, your phone is always vulnerable to security threats. Now these threats, Samsung and Google keeps fixing them with every security patch, but every day new security vulnerabilities will pop up and only Samsung and Google can fix these vulnerabilities through these security patches. So stop worrying about any other things, worry about the security flaws on your phone. Make sure you update your device every month on time as soon as you get the security patch. Now this particular security threat is for all the Android phones which are running on Android 13, 14, 15, as well as 16. So most of the Galaxy phone users have been affected with this particular threat and we are getting a fix very, very soon. Now if you're already on the One UI 8 uh, beta versions, then you might be on September security patch and that patch may not fix this issue. You might get the next patch very soon or if the security patch is delayed on your device, you will be getting the latest one with the fix for this particular threat. I'm currently on One UI 7, so I'm waiting for the September patch. As soon as I get it, I will keep you guys posted. If you already have it, let me know in the comment section. This is something which I want to share with you guys. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel to know your phone better and stay updated with everything that's happening with your phone. And don't forget to download our wallpaper application, Volvos. Every day we add more than 10 or 15 wallpapers uh, in free as well as premium section. So go ahead and download it. There are some beautiful wallpapers and collections on the application. The link for you to download it is in the description. That's about it. I hope you have already tapped on the like button if you find this video informative. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.